Listen, what I'm about to share with you can transform your life. And I don't say that lightly. I'm talking about fear. Fear coming into your life that paralyzes you from taking any action. That's what fear really has the potential to do. It paralyzes you. It makes you think, I don't want to do this because what if this? It makes you think about, well, if I do that, then what if this happens? What if I lose my money? What if I lose a loved one? What happens in my life if this happens? Fear is very real. I want to share with you what personally has helped for me in my life. I've experienced a lot of fear in my life. Becoming in a business owner, building a business, it, it's fearful. You're going into the unknown. I was once an electrical engineer. I'd worked eight years to, to be an engineer, and then within six months, I had this amazing opportunity to build my business, and I took so much action, and the time came that, am I gonna quit my job? And I was overcome by fear. I was, I walked to my engineer's office every single day for three days thinking, am I actually going to, am I actually going to hand my notice in right now after six months of building my business? Fear was very real for me then. Fear is the responsibility that you're going to take. What if this happens? I had a young family. My daughter at the time was less than one years old. We had a house. My son, my partner Kylie, who we were both going to quit our jobs. Fear is very real. It's a part of everyday life. And I want to share with you a really, really, a, a, an amazing technique, a, a tool, a resource that you have, that I have, that we both have right now, that you can prepare yourself to take massive action to overcome that fear and take action despite of the fear. The fear is never gonna go away. It doesn't matter where you're at. Please, if I can ask you to do anything, accept fear that you're never gonna get away from it. Whether you're just getting started with something or you are five years, 10 years down the line. It doesn't matter what level that you're at, whether you're a beginner or more advanced. Whenever you are going into the unknown, fear, anxiety, the feeling of what if this happens, what if that happens, it's a completely natural thing to do because our brains are always thinking about what's out to hurt us. What can hurt us? Whether I lose my money, whether I, I'm gonna lose a loved one because now I've let them down because I've failed. What are my, my friends gonna think? What are my family's gonna think? If I fail, that's fear, that's real. That's never gonna go away. But here's what you can do. Number one, accept that fear is never gonna go away. Accept it. And learn to prepare yourself. Learn how to prepare yourself to take action despite a fear. Where you're guided by this. You're guided by your heart. You're, you're guided by what you believe with everything that you've got that you're going to be able to overcome no matter what happens. And the only way you do this is by looking after, number one, what you're focusing on. What you're focusing on. Number two, how you hold yourself. Okay, how you hold yourself physically. And number three, the language, the, the speech that you've got inside internally. Let me break this right down for you. Number one, what are you focusing on? Me, you, we have the ability to focus on what we desire, what we want. Nobody can, nobody can decide to, to force you to focus on anything. It is you, you have control of your, your mindset, your psychology. You can decide to either focus on what can go right or what can go wrong. You can either decide to focus on the, the failures, the, the, the challenges, the struggles, or your ability to overcome those challenges, those struggles. No matter what happens, I will find the way or make the way. You have that choice to decide what you're focusing on. Number two, how you hold your body every single day. How you decide to wake up in the morning. Think about it. 
If you're overcome by fear, if you're thinking about, oh, I don't know whether I can do this, I'm scared, I don't know, which is gonna to happen to all of us. Think about the way you're holding your body. What's happening to your shoulders? What's happening to your head? What's happened to your, 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 your physiology right now? I always go back to, think about a boxer going into a ring. He's about to get his ass kicked by somebody. Somebody wants to batter him. That's gonna come with an, an, an immediate sense of fear, right? I mean, we're fearful of things that we can't see, and this boxer's going into a ring where he can see the person who wants to punch him, who wants to knock his lights out. So what does he do? Think about his body. Think about what he's doing. He's got his shoulders up. What is he focusing on? He's focusing on his training. He's determined. He is ice cold. He's, can, he can already see the result of him knocking out his, comp his opponent. Think about the, 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 the music he's listening to. There will be music in your life that lift you up, that inspire you, and also bring you down. When you think of motivational music, when you think of the Rocky Balboas and you, you go into the ring, you in your bedroom, in your living room, in your house, in your warehouse, it doesn't matter. You're going out for a run, think about it. How do you feel when you're listening to uplifting music, when you're listening to inspirational, motivational music? How do you hold your body? Have you got your shoulders up? Have you got your fist clenched? Are you speaking louder? Are you speaking with more certainty, more clarity? Are you absolutely certain that I'm going to find a way or make the way? It all comes down to the way you feel, the way you hold yourself, what you're doing with your body, what you're listening to. And then finally, it's the language that you're using. You know, what, what type of language are you using? It's a really, really powerful thing. This is the reason why when somebody says to me, how are you today, Kev? I say, I'm outstanding. I'm absolutely outstanding today. You can train yourself. You can train yourself repetitively. It's like a habit. It's when you wake up. I'm, I'm not saying to, to be like fairyland. I'm not saying to be, you know, there's, there's like, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, that type of thing. I'm, I'm talking about real life practices, where you work, where you go to work, you set up your environment. I call this my massive action ecosystem. Very, very strategically, I set up everywhere that I work. I've got um, my, my motivational, um, and my vision board, where are we heading? I'm, I'm, I remind myself of where we've been. If you see in the background right here, we've got photos of our journey, what we have overcome at this point. What am I listening to? The music that I'm listening to. I'm thinking about the, the, the movies that I've, I've watched before that's given me a, an inspirational lift. That's made me wanna get up at seven o'clock in the morning to go out for a run. That I don't wanna go to bed, I wanna work out. Think about those movies, those soundtracks. They're very, very powerful anchors. That's why it's a part of my ecosystem. Whatever I look at, whether it's my, my screen saver, whether it's my, my desktop screen saver, whether it's the people around me, whether it's my influences, it's all about setting yourself up that I'm going to do this. And that's why the language is so important because it's like, I will find the way. I am outstanding, I am powerful, I am strong. And I am prepared, no matter what happens right now, no matter what happens right now, if, if this, if, if something that I can't see, the future, the, you know, the unknown, you're, you're, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're building a business, you're going into the unknown that you've never done before, you've got to be prepared. You've got to be prepared to be at a level 10. You've got to be at a level 10 every single day because when you've got problems, those level sevens, those eights, those nines come in your way. You've got to be stronger, you've got to be bigger, you've got to be taller to overcome absolutely no matter what happens. You'll find the way to strategically, to problem solve, to overcome. You're absolutely certain that you can do this. Just think about that. When you think about fear, when you think about what you're focusing on, when you're thinking about how you, what, what your body's like, when you think about the language that you're using, completely go opposite. Go out for a run. This is why exercise is so powerful. It's because you're getting your body moving. It's the biology. 
It's the chemical reaction, the, 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 the biology in your body that's going to give you that more, the, the more energy about you. Where you decide to focus your time, the negativity or the positivity, what can happen in terms of the negative, the failures, the struggles, or what happens if you are successful, what you can do, what you can become. No matter what fear you're going through right now, no matter what adversity you may be going through right now, maybe you're scared of something, accept it. Accept it for what it is. It's never gonna go. But be prepared, prepare yourself. Put yourself in a positive state. Be proactive on before you take any action. What am I focusing on? What am I, what am I doing? Where am I working? Who are the people I'm surrounding myself with? It's gonna, it's gonna change your life. And that's what I've been doing over the last five years and it's changed my life. I can only speak to you from personal experience, from the team that I have, from the virtual assistants that I have, from my partner and Kylie, what we've gone through together. Every single time it's about us together, we're talking it through. We're focusing on what we have to do. We're focusing on, right, right we're gonna take action. Kylie comes in here, she takes massive action in here. With the team, she's like, right, let's get music on, let's get going. She's talk, we're talking about the, the, the language. You know, we, we appreciate one another. We appreciate what we've got. It doesn't matter where, where we're, if we lose things. We remember where we were. We're grateful every single day. We're not afraid of losing it. Because we know we've got the family. We know we've got the loved ones. And that's why I wanted just to share with you this. It, I, I think it's so powerful. It's personally helped me. It really has. I understand what fear feels like. I quit my job after eight years being an electrical engineer. I, I understand that. I understand that. But it's about you preparing yourself. So there's gonna be links down below. I've gonna put loads of different videos of what I've shared, my massive action ecosystem, how you can pre prepare yourself to take massive action, share some motivational content with you that will help you practically in your life. You gotta take action. You gotta think about where you're working. You gotta think about what your environment has an impact on you, what you're listening to, what you're looking at. This is the reason why I haven't consumed the negativity for so many years at this point from the people, from the, the external world, what's happening. It's because I'm, I'm so focused on what we are building, what we are moving towards, what we can control, okay? Letting go what we can, what we can't control and focusing on what we can control. That is truly how you can overcome that fear so fast, so fast. I hope you've enjoyed this. My name's Kev here from Life Success Engineer, inspiring you every day to keep taking massive action. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know what your thoughts are. What is it that you're doing every day? Credit has to come from um, I've gone to seminars like Unleash the Power Within by Tony Robbins, where it really helped me put into practice in my life. I've had so many mentors in my life that have really supported me and allowed me to, to, to set up what I call my massive action ecosystem, where I live, what I do every single day. But it starts with what you can control. And that is all about preparing yourself, being proactive and taking massive action despite of fear. Because it's not going anywhere. What you have to do, you have to dance with it. So take care, keep taking massive action. My name's Kev, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and take care. Bye-bye.